Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's actually been a while since I filmed a video. Well, probably not for y'all, but it's been a while for me. So today I was like, well, you're already dressed up. Let's film a video. So I was like, okay. And so I am filming my top 10 favorite makeup brushes for you guys. And yeah, let's just jump right into the video. All right, so usually I just keep my brushes in this. It's this really cute pink chevron little cardboard thing I got for a dollar at Target. I have another one that keeps my cotton balls in it. And this has been really good for holding all my brushes. So let's get into the, let's do eye brushes first. So my favorite, 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 favorite blending brush that I use every day is this one and I got it in an Ipsy bag and it's the Mirabella blendable eyes and can I just I cannot rave about this enough it is so it fits the shape of my eye perfectly it's so like fluffy that it just is so good at blending it's amazing it's soft I mean it has like if I put it a certain part of my eye it kind of tickles them because it's not it's not the softest brush, but it is really soft. It's not very dense, but I like that because I feel like it really is light and able to really blend out. So this is probably my number one favorite brush and I love this one and I will, I recommend it. And then probably my second favorite brush is one I think I got for $3 or less. And it's this one, I picked it up at Ulta a couple years ago and it's by Essence. And it's this small little dome brush and it works really good for right underneath the eyes for the inner part of the, uh, what's the card, inner corner. And even if like today I used it and I built a color in my crease and then I blended it out with the Mirabella one. So I've had this one for a really long time and it's so amazing. I don't think you, they, you can get this one anymore because whenever I go to Ulta I do check out the Essence brushes but I haven't seen this one. Maybe if you like see it on their um, website. Do they have a website? They probably have a website. And then another kind of domey blending brush is this one by Soho, another one I got in my Ipsy bag. And I actually rarely use this one on my eyes. It looks like this, love the pink. It's just a dome. This one's actually a lot more dense, but it's a dome brush. And I actually use this for bronzer. So I use it to contour my nose because I just feel like it fits right there. And I use it to put it right underneath my lip. So, cause when you put bronzer underneath your lips, it gives your lips a fuller look. And this brush is excellent for all of that. And I use it every day because I don't know, I can't not contour. Ooh. Okay, and then my favorite, okay, let's do this one because this one's kind of weird. I don't really know how to explain this one, but it looks like this, and this one is really dense, and it's by Eco Tools, and it's super, super good for highlight. And you're probably like, what? Highlight? That dense brush for highlight? Yeah, it just, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll stop. It just really fits right underneath my eyebrow and in that brow bone section. Um, and I love this brush. Um, I think I got this in a set, but I'm not positive. I love this brush. I don't use it all the time, but I do use it when I know it, it really like, I don't know how to explain it. It blends the highlight with the, with the crease color just really smoothly and creamily. Is that a word? Okay, and now on my flat like eyeshadow brushes, I have another one that looks like it's Ego Tools, but it's not. Um, this one's by Kala, and I got it at a like Chinese, um, not that sounds really bad, but it's at this like store called Sam Moon, and a lot of it's like cheaper stuff from China. Don't hate me. But it's by Kala, and it just looks like this. It's eyeshadow 406. It's this really, like, it's um, dense, but it's, like, small. It's this just little fluffy flat shader brush. Really love this thing for packing on color, and sometimes I'll use it in the crease, but rarely. But it's really good for packing on color. And then another Soho brush from my Ipsy bag. Okay, I literally got three brushes in my Ipsy bag but I love all of them so this one's by Soho and it's the perfect 
like flat shader brush. It's just perfect for packing on a ton of color on your eyes. It's wonderful and I love this one. And they probably have all, all the ones I've gotten in my Ipsy bag, I'm pretty sure they have on their websites. Um, it, I don't know the name of these, of this one or these two, but it just looks like this and this is an excellent brush and I use that one like every day. So for face brushes, let's start with foundation brushes. So, okay, the funny story behind this. When I was in like seventh grade, I was like obsessed with buying stuff on eBay and I was like, hey, I'm pretty sure I can find a MAC brush on eBay for like a dollar. So I found one, but this one was probably like two dollars, I don't know. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so real, but it's not obvious. Now that I'm older, I'm like, this is totally fake because you can tell because it says Japan in it. Like, what? But this brush is really good, and you're gonna be like, why do you use it for that? I use it for a highlighter because I just dip it in the highlighter and then whoop, whoop, oh, whoop, 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 all over my face and. I'm good to go. I don't have one of those fan brushes, so I just use this one and I put it right here, you know, and it's great. So this is probably still somewhere on eBay for like $2 or a dollar. So you know, yeah. Okay, then for blush brushes, I have this one. The rest of these are Eco Tools brushes, but I have this one. It's just a super dense, fluffy. Um, blush brush. I love it. It packs on blush really nice and if you want to kind of tone down the blush you just lightly like pat it on and it goes on super smooth and wonderful and beautiful. And then I have this like big kabuki brush and it's by Ego Tools. This is one of the best brushes I've ever bought because if I put, excuse me, if I put like too much bronze bronzer on, this one really just like blends it out super smooth, smooth, I love saying that word right now, but it really blends out all this stuff, and if I feel like I have too much foundation on, I just kind of like buff it into my skin a little bit more, and it's great. And okay, my last favorite brush is probably one of the ones that I am so happy I have and use 24-7, and it is this, um, wait what's it called stippling brush I always forget the name and this one's the ego tools by Alicia 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 Silverstone and I think I got this one in a set too not positive but it just looks like this it's a stippling brush absolutely in love with it it's amazing and definitely check out ego tools brushes because they're excellent quality and they've lasted me a really long time obviously a couple of years and they're amazing <laughs> And then I have this like big kabuki brush and it's by Ego Tools. This is one of the best brushes I've ever bought. Because if I put, excuse me, if I put like too much bronze bronzer on, this one really just like blends it out super smooth, smooth, I love saying that word right now. But it really blends out all this stuff and if I feel like I have too much foundation on, I just kind of like buff it into my skin a little bit more and it's great. And okay, my last favorite brush is probably one of the ones that I am so happy I have and use 24-7. And it is this, um, wait, what's it called? Stippling brush. I always forget the name. And this one's the Eco Tools by Alicia, 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 Alicia. Silverstone and I think I got this one in a set too not positive, but it just looks like this It's a stippling brush absolutely in love with it. It's amazing and Definitely check out ego tools brushes because they're excellent quality and they've lasted me a really long time Obviously a couple of years and they're amazing. I Really want to get some um, real technique brushes and some morphe brushes because I've heard a lot of good things about both of those two recently I just gotta get some moolah, you know? Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this top 10 favorite makeup brushes video, I was gonna say tutorial. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Stay fierce.
I really want to get some um, Real Technique brushes and some Morphe brushes because I've heard a lot of good things about both of those two recently. I just gotta get some moolah. You know? Do you guys want to know something cool? I actually made this headband. Let me show you. I should do a video on how to make headbands. It looks like this I and mean, here's the back. Totally slip it on like that and you'll be the coolest person in school.